What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 MT as well as NFL 20 Muck Coins, please go to dvdj.com, link will be in the description, use code BUGS for 10% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and in this video we're simply going to go over my first, like, my personal review over the first month of 2K, like how has it been? How have I liked it? It's been about a month since 2K has dropped. Um, so I want to give my review on it. I think that this game needs a lot to improve. We're going to go over all of it. Um, a lot of this news really isn't biased. It's just straight facts. And I just want to give you guys my honest opinion overall on what needs to be improved, how the game is, uh, and all that good stuff. So let's get into it. So first off, we're going to talk about the auction house. So the auction house is still somewhat a little broken. Um, if you guys haven't realized, if you type in some players, sometimes it don't pop up and sometimes the maximum buyout doesn't pop up. So I think that's that's one thing that they still need to improve. They sort of improved it a little bit, but they have not improved it all the way. And a lot of the times, um, the auction house is super slow in general. And honestly, I hate when auction houses are super slow, especially when market crashes happen and they drop new packs and you're trying to like snipe something and you can't because the auction's broken. So... They need to fix that. Honestly, the auction house out of 10, the first three weeks, the auction house was literally not even usable. You couldn't snipe cards unless you mess with like maximum bid and minimum bid, which is ridiculous. I think you should just be able to go to buy now and see what the cheapest is. So that's number one. Auction house, they did fix a little bit, still needs a little update. So next. All right, this one is ridiculous. So triple threat online is so garbage in my opinion. You could disagree. I don't care if you disagree because listen, if I'm gonna play, if I'm gonna go, what is it like 10 games or something in triple threat, something like that. If I go 10 and 0 or whatever it is, I go undefeated in triple threat and my rewards are 200 MT, three tokens and like 100 MT and two tokens. First of all, if you get the three tokens, right, and then you land on it again, it's a contract pack, which is pretty much pointless considering <laughs> literally your reward is to give your players contracts. So, like, you're going to play triple threat 10 games, you're going to need to give them contracts. So that contract pack that you got after the three tokens is literally so pointless. I mean, it's terrible. How you're going to grind that hard, go 10 and 0, beat every single player online, get three tokens and a contract pack, and like two tokens 200 mt you're gonna literally get a thousand mt out of all of that for going 10 and 0 in triple threat so you being skilled at the game your rewards are absolutely nothing you get contract packs and five tokens I, I don't think that's valuable in any way even if you get three tokens times 10 you get 30 tokens that's one ami player like if you're on the diamond level you're not gonna get any tokens for triple threat so also have they have no triple threat players on boards so they put one triple threat player on boards. It was an Emerald Channing Fry that you had to evolve. That is honestly low-key trash considering they have a pink diamond show on Kevin the game for free. They have a Kevin Garnett Biamethyst for free. And they also have a Diamond Chris Webber for free. So that's showing uh, that uh that Channing Fry they dropped, I guess, is good for the 13th man if you grind all the solos. So alright. So far, triple threat has been awful, in my opinion. They need to fix that, up the rewards, add new players in triple threat. And hopefully they do fix that. Hopefully we get better rewards. Next up, we got to talk about domination because, dude, if you watched, if you watched um, Shake and Bake's video, uh, Cash Nasty posted a video saying that after you get 99 stars, you get like 30 or 50 KMT. And there was a spot in the agenda before the game drop, like two days before the, or a day before the drink, game drop. It was like um, over here somewhere in the agenda and it said 99 stars domination you get uh, 30 KMT. If you do not know what I'm talking about, go check out Shake and Bake's video. He has a whole rant on 2K and what they need to fix. And honestly, I think we do deserve 30K for completing domination. I think it's a lot of, it's a long grind. And I really think that as a community, we deserve that. Especially if you're gonna show us before the game comes out. I mean, if you're gonna have somebody show the game comes out, people are gonna write down notes on what's coming out, what they should grind first. and. If that's one of the things we get 30 KMT uh, in the beginning of the game with a pink diamond player, I think Eddie, everybody's going to go to that hoping they get the 30 KMT. Yeah, you get the pink diamond Sean Kemp, but where's my 30 KMT? If they take that away, that's kind of screwed up. So that's another thing I want to talk about. Domination, 
Not only that, the rewards are broken. They sort of fix that in some type of way. Also, bro, their 2K help system is awful. They got to have a phone number or something because they don't get back to you on email. I've tried emailing them 50 times and they don't answer. They're like, screw you. The game's broken. Get with it. Like, that's pretty much what they say to the community. Like, if you're trying to, if you're trying to get your game fixed and no one answers, how is that a good like how how are you a good company your company's trash or your customer service is awful i saw an article on their customer service and it's like did this article help and it's like a thousand people said no out of 1100 people so that's ridiculous that's like 90 something percent so if you're a person if your service is doing bad and i don't know man you sh they probably should have waited like two three weeks before they dropped the game because there's so many bugs that i didn't even know about okay so let's get into the next thing so this one on multiplayer, I mean, this is the worst one out of all, like, out of them all. So, beginning of the game, we had the freaking out of position player glitch, which is actually ridiculous because I had Ben Simmons at point guard. Everybody had Ben Simmons at point guard. Giannis at shooting guard. It was stupid. So, they, they even had, I even saw George Mercine at point guard. Thank you, 2K, for that. So, my team unlimited. Um, the gameplay has been okay. It's not been bad, but... Let's talk about some other stuff. So there's a new glitch. They just released a patch. So I think the patch for sure made gameplay speeds faster because if you realize that on domination, the, the, the gameplay was super fast and then you went online and it was like half the speed. So that threw off my play. I thought that was terrible, but they did update it. Congratulations. They upped the game speed, but then they updated the game speed, but they still have the same lag where the game lags out and no one receives a win. If you're up or down, it doesn't matter. So that, in my opinion, if you can't play online, then how are you going to get the 12 and 0 reward or any of these rewards? These rewards are fake. Then um, I watched a, I heard a YouTuber uh, on the first day stream for hours trying to get 12 and 0 and he kept getting the lag. So the lag, if you get no win and you're up 30, I it's crazy. And if you ask 2K to help, they won't help. They won't answer. So dot, this, my team unlimited is broken. Now there's a new timeout glitch. I mean, you could like spam timeouts and the game automatically lags out. If you're down, like, let's say you're down 30 in the fourth quarter. You're like, screw this game. If you spam the timeout button, you literally get a lag out and you get no win or loss. So like, now you can't play a game because almost everybody in the community knows about the timeout glitch So you're up 30 you're gonna lose you have no chance of winning because someone's gonna do the glitch and ruin your day after four After like 30 minutes of playing the game fourth quarter someone can end it and you get nothing out of it So so far we got the auction house problem triple threat problem the domination not getting our awards and now my team unlimited When is 2k gonna fix these problems my team unlimited in my opinion the first thing they should the first first thing they should fix and sure with their online boards are awful. That's the second thing. Like, even... The, they're really just all so bad. I mean, the domination thing, hopefully we just all get 30 KMT, whoever completed it. But those three main things, auction, my team unlimited, triple threat being terrible. It's just... It's really annoying, bro. I'm sorry. I, the game's not even playable right now. Only thing you can really play is, like, spotlight challenges, which I, I find it so boring. So, not only that, it's like... When is these single player triple threats going to be changed? Like, alright. I mean, I didn't get them yet. But for Denver Struck, who did all 1,000 wins, when is he going to get his new rewards? They didn't announce it. There's no timetable or no nothing. Now, I mean, it's... I don't know, dude. Also, I want to talk about the pack luck, dude. The pack luck is so garbage. I've pulled one Amethyst and he went for like 5k or 10k. I pulled so many packs. I mean, probably just, I can't even name how many packs I popped. Way over 100 packs, easily. Between VC, MT, whatever, bro. I spam packs, hoping to pull something. You get absolutely garbage. You get emeralds. At least give us some silvers. If they have all these silvers, they got too much. They have, they're too rare. How are these silvers ever going to be cheap if they have no way of giving them out? Like, usually they give out domination packs where you get a silver or better. Or, but they don't even have those anymore. So silvers are so rare, but you can't pull silvers in packs. They usually just give you emeralds, if anything. So silvers are rare. Packs are like shot. Um, I mean, I don't know, guys. Give me your opinion down below. I would like to know, but this is my honest opinion on the first month of 2K. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop the like, sub if you're new. And that's all I got. That's my rant, guys. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I think this game could be improved. 
in a lot. So especially no locker codes. But that's all I got, guys. Have a good one. Peace.